Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be doing a set of videos looking at models or units from the Age of Sigmar starter set. I'm going to be looking at the models in greater detail, I'm going to be sharing my opinions on them and I'm going to, at the end of the video I'm going to be comparing size to other models. So what's this week? This week I have the Blood Warriors, the Corn Blood Warriors. So you get one unit of these and you get five guys in the unit. Uh, these are pretty much you know, a Space Marine version of a Chaos Warrior, I think. Um, but the, and I've never had any Chaos models before this set. I don't think I have. I've had Beastmen, a Gorgon, but nothing like um, like infantry, infantry guys. I never had any 40k Chaos or anything. So this is the first time I'm looking at them, apart from the Blood Reavers. So what are these guys like? These are beautiful looking models and um, it really is a pity you only get five of them I really would like to have some more of these and um, let's have a close look at this guy the amount of detail that goes into him is fantastic this guy's belly is a mouth you know you can see the tonsils in the back it's really freaky looking the corn symbols are everywhere you have the decorative armor you have skulls they really are nice looking models um, you know, and they're pretty big I thought these would have been a lot smaller but they're pretty big this guy's pose is pretty cool kinda has it like he's running a little bit he has a big corn axe uh, what's the name of the weapon? gore axe these are so, and whatever these are meant to be I don't know like shields with blades on them maybe I'm not sure um, you know and when I was looking at this unit, I was thinking, which one could be like the unit champion? And you know, really there's like three of them you could choose from. It's usually the guy with a bit more dynamic pose. I thought it was this guy, because he's on the rock. And he has like the, you know, the beard to stand out a little bit. And he has like a really cool shoulder pad piece as well. But I think it's this guy, from looking at the pictures. Uh... This guy's pose is really cool, he looks like he's running straight ahead into battle. Really nice looking at the last guy. Could have been this guy either, could have been the unit champ. He's standing on a little bit of a rock, raising the axe up pretty high. And he has a big massive corn symbol on his helmet. You know, these guys are really nice looking. Um, they went together really easy, I didn't have any trouble putting these guys together. Uh, one guy was a little bit not hard or tricky, but it was f it went together pretty funny. I'm trying to think of which one it was. You know, it was like the arm and the head had to go in under the helmet or something like that. I can't remember, but they went together really easy. You shouldn't have any trouble and um, putting these together. You know, the glued nicely. The parts are kind of big and chunky. There's not like little small parts with them. So um, oh. Just knock the camera over. So that's the Blood Warriors. It's a pity you only get five of these. Um, I don't know what they're like to use in the game yet. I haven't really looked at the rules for these yet. Um, but I'm sure they're pretty... They must be good because there's only like a small amount of them. So let's get... F f one guy for size comparison. Let's get... Let's get this guy. This guy's pretty decent at standing out. So, as the usual, first guy up... We have the running man from the box kit. Now the reason I use this guy is because he's the closest guy I have to human size. From the fantasy world. So he's a little peasant, he's a little average kind of human. And you can't really compare him, he, tower under, he towers under him. You know, the axe would pretty much cut him in half. Uh, next up, what these guys would be mostly compared to is a space marine. Lord is down here. to get a better look at them um, and surprisingly these are massive compared to a space ring um, I guess that space rings were a little bit big but these blood warriors tower over 
you know, they could easily surround them, just like that. And it's bye bye Mr. Space Marine, you can't even see him. So, you know, you see a lot of comparisons with the Stormcast Eternal guys for Space Marines, but, you know, a lot of them just tower over a normal Space Marine. So next up we have the Terminator. Terminator's on the bigger base, the Space Marine guy, as you can see, he was on a smaller base. Um, but the base is smaller than the Terminator one. Uh, I think it was 38mm, I can't remember. Um, he's taller than the Terminator. He's not as bulky. Um, you know, Terminators are pretty bulky, you know, they're wide, they're chunky. But they're not as tall, you know, a Space Marine. He's just a little bit over Space Marine. So, uh, yeah, just, just he has the height over the Terminator, not the bulkiness. And then, surprisingly, this one is pretty surprising. His, he can, no, uh, I was going to say he can go the same height as an ogre. But now that I look at it, it's the helmet that makes him stand up. You know, this ogre is, he's not exactly standing up tall like the Blood Warrior is. But, um, you know, an ogre doesn't make him look too small. Um, you know, like look at the ogre compared to this little guy. The ogre would eat him. But um, <clears throat> yeah, the size comparison to an ogre is, you know, it's not too. He's not too much bigger than him. You know, the armor definitely makes him stand out a bit more. Makes him look like he could go. He could go around or two with an ogre for definite. So um, yeah, that's it for the blood warriors. Uh, really nice unit. And. Um, you know, I think the winners of this AOS box definitely are the Chaos guys, and it's just a pity you don't get to see enough of them. Not just yet, I'm sure we will, but a um, fantastic looking unit. This leader guy, I suppose with that belly thing, it would make him leader. A little bit more uh, extra care in him for the Chaos gods with the belly mouth thing. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's what I think about the Blood Warriors with the size comparison and everything. Definitely a nice unit. Um, I have they brought out a unit of these? I don't think they have. I can't remember. But they definitely be worth keeping an eye out for. So, leave a comment below. Hit the like button if you can. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And as usual, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next video.